Hello and welcome everyone to round three recap of the Rada Steel Chess Tournament uh, 2021. What an amazing start we have had. And we had a leader with Nils Grandelius on a full score, but he faced the mighty Indian challenge from in, uh, Pentala Hari Krishna. And guess what? Hari Krishna delivered. And there we have it, guys. We have five leaders in. And let's have a look at the results. So as you can see, uh, Esipenko MVN was a draw. Hari Krishna beat Nils. Karuana and Duda Jan Kristoff was the game of the day in spite of it being a draw. What an amazing game. We'll have a look at that. Anish versus the newcomer. Donchenko was a draw. Radoslav versus Van For East was a draw. And M uh, Carlsen playing his uh, Norwegian uh, mate. Aryan Tari was also an interesting game but ended in a draw. And finally, uh, the Iranian teenager Ali Reza Firuja coming up with the goods against the winner of last year's challengers, that is David Anton Guyaro, and winning and joining uh, at the 50% players with 1.5 out of 3. So the leaders of the round 3 guys are Hari Krishna, as you can see, top of the standings, guys. Way to go, Hari. And followed by Magnus, Kiri, Karwana, and Nils, who, in spite of losing to Hari, still is at the lead. And as this is the last game before the rest day tomorrow, so it's going to be an amazing action-packed day today as well. But let's jump in uh, to see how Hari Krishna managed to do this. So Hari was playing uh, the leader, Grandelius, and uh, it started off slowly, but uh, it is... An opening in which Hare Krishna is an expert and he's also made several videos and DVDs for this opening, the French. And it started off quite smoothly as you can see, uh, this being Black's problem bishop because you can see these pawns are also in the same color of the bishop. So exchanging this is a very very good idea. And once Hari manages to exchange that you see, nothing happens on the left side of the board that is the king side and all the action happens on the queen side where Hare Krishna is way way ahead. And that is the reason why Hari manages to score a comfortable victory. And especially with the black pieces, it is very difficult to win at these highest levels. But Hari Krishna manages it with ease. And now you can see just this simple play by Hari. There's no fancy stuff. He just improves his position before blocking the position. So Hari immediately stops the blockade by pushing A5, opening that line forcing uh, this pawn to make some kind of a concession here and after takes takes now black is happy because the knight comes into c4 and uh, it's just such a such a pleasant position you can see and you can see this pawn is going to be needing some defending throughout the game whereas this rook can come to the open file and cause some damage and this is where Hare Krishna gladly accepted uh, a a tactical sequence where he when he was gifted you see all of black's pieces are much much better than white's pieces and black has not done anything hari didn't make any fancy moves but it's just slow steady improvement and hari credited this fact to the thing that he is a lifelong french player and kudos to hari here after g3 rook a3 here we'll very very quickly see the massive trade of exchanges and there we go knight b4 comes in this pawn is hanging being attacked by black three times and that's it nice nice tactical sequence here rook b3 whenever you're ahead in material go for liquidation takes takes simple tactic knight c1 forking the rook whoops forking the rook and the queen and there you have it once this comes and now once the smoke is cleared this is definitely a new baby girl nothing will stop that and black is glad to push it Queen a4, queen b1, pawn to b4. There's literally nothing stopping pawn to b3, pawn to b2 and queen a1. So Grandelius hangs his uh, head and shakes off the hand and that's it giving Hare Krishna a very, very important win here. And uh, it is just amazing to see that uh, Hari just manages to so simply win uh, a game and easily that puts him directly into the lead and uh, it's just a, such a nice uh, start for Hari Krishna here. So now with Hari's win done, let's check into our game changing moments. And this one is uh, from Ali Reza Firuja, the Iranian phenom against David Anton, the winner of last year. And this is where 
the position is a game changing moment where after black played queen to b5 firuja said why did my opponent make a move that has long lasting effects and he has to defend this end game for 5 hours and you can see these these double pawns were the reason that uh, firuja managed to you can see how i'll have a quick look you can see how he manages to turn his pieces around plenty of shifting and turning he shifts here he nudges upon there he pushes upon here keeps attacking keeps attacking keeps knocking on the door and finally he has he gets that win he gets that push with this and after this check knight f3 knight coming to e5 it's game over and quite an interesting uh, in the uh, the last position is very interesting because white is attacking this and if you move the knight it's uh, it's just uh, rook f7 is a mate once you move the knight so a pretty impressive win by Firuja who had a tough start to the event with very very good players at the start but now he is one and remember he was the darling of the event last year so don't uh, don't ruin him out of the top rankings he is definitely a force to reckon with moving on we have another uh, fun game between two of the norwegian stars at the event that is Magnus Carlsen versus Aryan Tari and uh, Magnus started off with the Queen's Gambit as he's just employing in this event. And uh, here, Aryantari goes for a slightly minus position, but a very super solid position, as he said in the interview later, that White gets what he wants. You can see uh, White has a double bishops, but Black has an extra pawn, but it's a super, super solid position for Tari. And he was very happy to defend this as did he he copied this idea from wesley so in the skilling open guys uh, so you can definitely have a look at that game as well and here super solid game by uh tari not much for carlson but as you know carlson always fights till the end and this was the iconic moment like finding king to f6 allowing rook takes e6 check or, or allowing pawn takes e6 and now king g5 and using the fact that these pieces are kind of uncoordinated and after this, it's just too little uh, of an advantage for Magnus. And we see a bunch of trades, plenty of trades here. And this king and pawn end game is also drawn. We'll see the end. And now, don't worry, you can hide in the corner. And even if the opponent is a world champion, it's a draw. And Atari is glad to draw with his idol, with his hero. And this brings us to the last game that we are going to be checking out that is duda versus karuana versus duda i mean what a game this was this game was a draw i'll be linking all the games in the description so have a look but it started off slowly with the petrov but it blew up when karuana came up with this idea rook to g1 and blowing open with g4 and what a position we we come to the tactical shot of the day you can see knight to e6 is number one and of course you can't take because the bishop takes and then takes back on d5 winning the piece and the pawn so queen here and now we come to the move of the day that I like. look at this game look at this tactical game bishop to c3 and now no 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 we are gonna not we are not gonna take back but we deliver a counter blow with bam bishop takes at seven man what a move what a move king takes at seven g6 check what an amazing calculation by uh karuana and he gets a not a winning but a good position even bishop d4 was another beautiful tactical shot now you know you're almost threatening some mating ideas like this you can go in here you want to threaten mate there are plenty of plenty of ideas and uh, kudos to duda who gives up his bishop now you see he he has a havoc king but he's still fighting he's still in the game and somehow he manages to defend and by the skin of his teeth, he draws this game, even though he's an exchange down. And this is going to be our tip or lesson for the day that even though you're in a minus position, don't give up. And uh, see, it's one, two, three, four versus one, two, three, four, five, six. That is knight and two pawns for black. But kudos, kudos to the Polish uh, number one, Davi, uh, Jan Christoph Duda, for coming up with a miraculous defense. And boy, did he hold this game well. And in the end, uh, Karuana has nothing more than a draw. Hats off. What an amazing, beautiful game. We'll also link the report of the day so that you can check it out. Finally, our quick tips is 
pawn structure damage can be long term as we saw in Firuja versus David Anton. Secondly, defend stoutly in minus positions as you saw just now in Karuana versus Duda. And finally, good opening preparation gives you a very, very comfortable game like Hari Krishna showed it against Nils Grandelius. You have worked a little hard and for a long term advantage and benefits. So, and finally, it's the pairings, guys, of round four today at 6 30 pm Indian Standard Time. Do check in with our live show where we have camera feeds of the players, we have live interviews, plenty of action stuff with. Fiona and uh, Naroditsky with of course the chess.com stuff on site and it's going to be an exciting day because this is the last round before the rest day and it's our watch out our star game of the day will be Hare Krishna versus Karuana two of the leaders there and plenty of other fun stuff Van Forest versus Magnus is again a mouth watering clash will the world champion take an aggressive step before uh, the finals before the rest day you never know and of course, the local hope Anish Giri versus Duda is going to be another exciting matchup. I'll be watching the games live and I hope you will be too. And uh, this is going to be a super, super exciting day before the first day. So do tune in and uh, we'll see you in the chat as well as the day for recap. Bye bye.